Thousands have rallied in New York City in support of Ukraine since the start of the Russian invasion. Russian immigrant Sasha Natsintseva had felt welcome to join in at first. I overheard um, some American guys behind me um, saying not very good things about Russians. They got a little aggressive. They said some like nasty things to me. And there were another two Ukrainian people who I heard them saying like, go back to Russia. Her case is not unusual as opposition against Moscow's actions is manifesting itself against Russians in the U.S. In Washington, D.C., the Russia House restaurant, for instance, was reportedly vandalized. It's the cancel culture hitting Russian businesses, says Mikhail Padalsky, who was born and raised in Moscow. Stores try to get rid of the Russian vodka. Uh, online communities, they change uh, Russian group to Russian speaking group. Uh, Russian stores, they remove signs that it's Russian just, I guess, to keep themselves safe. Yulia Luznikova hopes the animosity doesn't get worse. It's very sad that this is happening. People are people. I don't think we, we need to generalize um, just by someone having a Russian surname um, that becomes an enemy. The Russian diaspora is working to raise awareness and put pressure on Moscow to end the war, says Natalia Arno, president of the Free Russia Foundation, which advocates for a free, democratic Russia. We are organizing a huge campaign, information campaign, uh, to tell the truth so that these exiled Russians can uh, target uh, those who are in country and send them the truth, send them photos, send them videos. The message seems to be getting across. Protesters have taken to the streets in Russia, despite facing arrest and years in prison. Peter Litsky, who was born in Moscow, worries that tough American and European sanctions will undermine change in Russia. The people are becoming more poor, they are concentrated on their uh, survival, they will probably not have time to work around uh, changing the political system. Marina Du has relatives in both Russia and Ukraine. She understands the negative perceptions some have of Russians these days. But it's time, she says, to come yeah. together and end the senseless suffering of war for both sides. I'm just uh, hoping that uh, people will not escalate this hate, uh, not provoke hate towards each other, but uh, just unite our, uh, so every effort we can do uh, to support people in Ukraine and in Russia. VOA reached out to several Russians in the U.S. who support the invasion of Ukraine, but they declined to be interviewed. Veronica Valderas Iglesias for VOA News. Alexandria, Virginia.